team, Smandich, brings in a record of nine losses, one draw and ten wins in an extensive 20-fight career. And listen to the ovation for a lady who needs no introduction, Kaylee Lewis. The 30-year-old from Riddler's Gym brings in a record of 23 and 4. She also weighed in at 57 kilos even last night. What a moment here for Kayla Lewis as she hurdles the top ropes and prepares for Australia versus Canada. is a WMC Intercontinental title defense sponsored by Riley's Tattoos. We are set for 5 by 2 57 kilo mark. Michael Chevello, Mark the Hammer Castanini with you. It is the glittering silver of the Australian Kayla Lewis and the white trunks of the Canadian Jessica Gladstone. Kayla, one of the most well put together women in the world of Muay Thai. Very crisp all rounder, good knees, great grapple, solid boxing, good legs. Trained, of course, by the Riddler, Darren Reese. He couldn't have a better trainer in your corner. Nice high right round kick there from Kaylee as she just tests the waters and sees what Gladstone has to offer. Good experience, as I said, on Gladstone. 20 fights. Kaylee does have the advantage, 27 fights. And it's continually becoming harder to find Kayla Lewis local opponents at 57 kilos. Good to see that Supremacy has gone abroad and brought in a Canadian hammer. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's the go now for, for Kales. I think it's uh, the women's division is certainly heating up and there's some good talent there, but they've either already fought each other or, uh, you know, they're, they're moving in weight divisions and are getting harder to match. So it's going to become more and more prevalent that uh, you know, overseas females are going to have to be shipped in to take on the, Aussie, the best of the Aussie. And uh, yeah, check out the, the ratings in International Kickboxer magazine. And you'll see in there there's, uh, there's a bit of an array of great female talent. But uh, at the same time, there's not that many names that, uh, you know, there's a wealth of, of, uh, of talent that can be matched. At, at, and, and therefore, we're seeing more and more overseas females having to be shipped in. But, uh, Gladstone is a credible opponent, of course, trained by Trevor. And uh, you can bet, you know, he, he himself, Trevor Smandich, is a, you know, he's a good all-round fighter and I'm sure his girl's going to put in a good show here tonight. Continually looking at counter with the right cross off Kayla's kicks here is Jessica Gladstone. Fell short for her, though, on a few occasions. And just a real filling out process in that first round. We are set for five by two. Knees and no elbows. You see, Kaylee, she's having a bit of success off that lead leg, switching up nicely and uh, putting in the round kick off the lead. Trevor Smandich in the corner and Darren the Riddler Reese in the corner of Kayla Lewis. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round of action. Look at the footwork on this bird's eye view though when you go above of Kayla Lewis. It's beautiful as she steps across, cuts off the ring, prevents the movement of Jessica Gladstone. Now we'll see if Gladstone again tries to counter with the right cross and she does once more off Kayla's kicking. It seems to be one of the game plans here of Jessica Gladstone. Good clinch locked on here from Kayla. She is one of the strongest women in the country with that tie clinch is Kayla Lewis. Of course down uh, at Riddler's gym working with the likes of Eugene Eckleboom. You know, when you're grappling someone like Eugene, you know you're only going to improve. And, uh, of course, Kaylee's obviously done many rounds in the clinch with Eugene, and uh, she would have to be surviving against someone with that sort of experience. So any opponent that steps in and tries to clinch with her is certainly going to have a hard night at the office. There are five real big guns in there. Riddler's gym stable. Four of them are on the card tonight. Taylor Lewis, Kim Olsen, Chad Walker and Chris White. The other being, of course, as Hammer said, Eugene Eckleboom. So a busy night here for Darren Reese and his team. Nice leg kick there from Kayleigh. Right cross from Gladstone. Jam 2-3. That was good work there. And an outside thigh kick from Gladstone. Very clean fight so far. Some crisp technique from both ladies. Of course, 
Kaylee there with a big punish fight gear on, uh, on her top. A big hello to Nick from Punish. So it's, it's down some, some good gear, Punish gear. It's getting very popular indeed. Inside leg kick from Gladstone. Kayla Lewis trying to steal the round. Some peppering punches there from Jessica Gladstone. Turns her around in the red corner. There it is, into the second. It's a bit of round for, for Gladstone, that one, but they're still in the clinch. Katie's uh, dominating very strong in the clinch. Fourth right hand almost uh, paid some dividends for Gladstone. She's going to the body nicely as well. Not just uh, going head hunting. She's varying her punch angles. Once again, the switch round kick from Haley, bringing the right, right hand uh, through after it. Good technique. Third round of five. Nice front kick. And the outside lead kick from Kaylee. Gloves up nice and high, arms turned outwards, and again digs that tip kick into the midsection. Goes a little higher off the round kick, lead leg there, looking for the upper right rib cage. Gladstone's got to let that right hand go, and she does now. It's been her prime weapon so far, countering with that right hand down the tube off Kaylee's kicking. Kaylee just careers that knee into the rib cage. She looks so confident here, does Kayla Lewis. So powerful. Good long reach on the front kick again, and she glances towards her corner. A lot of instruction coming from Darren Reese. We've seen Kaylee fight and uh, compete many times, and I feel when she fights in Perth, which of course is her home state, she just always kicks it up a notch and uh, puts it together so nicely. I think the uh, the home crowd advantage really lifts Kales and uh, you know brings out her best. That's for sure. Nice footwork again there from Kaylee. Cracks that round kick. Just trying to tuck it under the elbow. Look for that liver. Gets the knee in there. There's the round kick again off the lead leg. The work rate here of Kayla Lewis and even Jessica Gladstone. Got to give her credit on the back foot. Continually firing those punches down the corridor. Nice knee guard put on there from Kaylee. And referee should move in and separate these ladies. No, he lets them fight it out. Good jab, too, from Gladson. Just needs a little bit more power behind these salvos. Checks the inside leg kick to Scaly. Crashes that round kick again off the lead leg. Shin meets Rib. Rib's always going to draw the short straw in that equation. It just fires out that, that switch lead kick nicely and gets right up onto the rib cage, Carl's Working some good knees in the clinch. Strong round for Kayla Lewis, Michael. Three down, two remaining. Kayla Lewis seems to be in control, but Jessica Gladstone is here to fight. Nice hand work there from Gladstone. One, two. Kayla is traditionally one of those fighters, Hammer, who does start a little slow and pick up the pace as the rounds progress. We're seeing that at the moment. A very tentative first and second, really picking up the pace there in the third, the Australian. Yeah, and look, in the clinch, drilling knees. And uh, as you said, picking up the pace in the third. She's certainly getting up some good momentum now, now the Aussie. Of course, uh, Australia versus Canada, it's a great international matchup. Ladies fighting, liking what I see so far. Great technique from both these girls. Good front kick again. She's just using it to keep Jessica Gladson at bay as Gladson tries to break through and work that nice one two combination. Here's the clinch from Kaylee, puts on the knee guard, so no knees able to be thrown by. Gladstone over in the blue corner, and the referee gives both ladies a slap and a tickle, brings them both back to centre ring. Dean Woodham's always does a great job in centre ring, like we always say. He's, he's one of those centre referees that's there only when he needs to be. If you notice, he's, he's on the outskirts of the, of the fighting action, doesn't get uh, involved too much in the fight unless he has to be. It's a real art form itself, being a good ref. Seeing a lot more clinch work here in the fourth round, an ultimate round of action. First two rounds was mostly a kickboxing contest. As I said, Kaylee very proficient in the grapple. There's that beautiful front kick again, just forcing Gladstone back off that lead leg. Skips forward again, does Kaylee. Locks on the tie clinch, draws the knee to the upper left rib gauge. And she locks on the knee guard again. This is superb offensive and defensive work. And there must be elbows allowed because Kaylee just popped one off the right arm. There's <laughs> a short elbow there. <laughs> 
you say, you've seen it right. Good front kick again. That lead leg head kick, as it's called in tight, is just working a treat here for Lewis. Skips forward again, one hand behind the back of the neck. There goes the second. Dead centre of the ring, knee to the midsection, belly button through the back, and another one up to the right rib cage from Kaylee. It's a dominant performance from the Australian here in the fourth round. Again, that front kick working a treat as Gladstone tries to come through with the hands, but she's not getting too many clean shots on Kayla Lewis. And it's all up to Jessica Gladstone with only two minutes remaining in the fight now, Hammer. Well, it certainly is, and uh, this one, the intercontinental title defence, which Kayla Lewis holds, but the challenger has certainly uh, come down under the fight, rallied nicely with the hands, and I think Kayla's recognised that, so she's looking to cut her off not getting to a boxing exchange with her, keeping her at range with uh, the good push kick, which is your jab of your legs, basically, and then bringing her hands through nicely and clinching up underneath. So there's a, there's a push kick I just mentioned, and then she'll tie up a knee, and uh, I think she feels the advantage that she has in the, in the grapple is paying dividends. To do Shakespeare off that balcony. We are ready for the fifth and final round. It is all Kayla Lewis. Time for Jessica Glanston to try and find the target with those hands, and that's what she does off the bell. Nice sticky one, two through the guard. But can she get past the Kayla Lewis front kick off the lead leg? What a weapon it is again. Digs the ball with the feet into the midsection, and once more, it is the kickboxer's kicking jab. And Kayla Lewis uses it so well. I think it's really frustrating when you're trying to when you're trying to come in on your opponent and uh, let your hand shots go, and you get pinged in the uh, in the midsection with a with a ball of the foot. It really stuns you uh, momentarily, and then you've got to reassess just like that. Once again, she's getting just pushed back with, with that push kick, and again, this is really textbook stuff of the push kick use. Kayla Lewis is putting down here, doing it nicely. Again locked up in the corner. Lewis looking for the knees to the midsection. Almost takes her nose off with an uppercut elbow. Lewis storming ahead on the judges' scorecards, no doubt. Jessica Gladstone is all hard. She's gallant, but just can't match the work rate, the speed, or the technique of Kayla Lewis. This is Kayla in front of her home crowd. This is Kayla at her textbook finest, as the hammer said. She locks on the knee guard, fights out with the right hand. Certainly a great representation of female fighting, Kaylee Lewis, putting it together nicely. The skill level tonight has been absolutely exceptional. Jab body shot from Gladstone, but unless she can find a Hail Mary shot, she's not going to win this contest. Again, Kaylee on the front foot, tracks the round kick into the rib cage. There's that trip hammer of a front kick off the lead leg. And once more from Kaylee. It is an almost faultless performance from the Australian. Cracks the back leg. And there it is. End of the fifth and final round. It will be a successful WMC Intercontinental title defence. Well, this fight brought to you by Riley's Tattoo. And I tell you, Kayla Lewis absolutely tattooed the midsection of Gladstone continually with those front kicks to the stomach. Just beautiful use of the kick. Great range, timed perfectly. On the inside, she had the uh, the upper hand in the grapple, let the elbows go, and she had to. Nice work. Four wins in 28 outings. Folks, stay with us.